Okay, howdy everybody. Um, I, uh, hang on. Yeah, okay. So, I'm, I'm doing this again. I had a, I, I was streaming previously, but uh, I decided to restart it because the uh, audio just wasn't working, and I'm gonna be honest, I'm not really sure, I'm not sure, I'm, I'm not really sure what the point is if you can't hear jack shit, but, uh, I probably shouldn't have sworn in the first 30 seconds, or whatever. Um, so, anyway, I'm back. Uh, I'm here with Far Cry 4. Uh, I had a lot, I had a weird amount of difficulty getting this thing started, uh, because, mostly because there's a, uh, mostly because there's a bit of an issue with this game's, uh, resolution and audio. I tried to stream it previously beforehand, uh, the audio was not playing, which made for a very awkward opening country, um, uh, not country, uh, cutscene, which, uh, Okay, there is audio. It's just really, really quiet. Yeah, you hear that? I bet you don't hear that. That's really weird. Yeah, this was really awkward the first time I tried to stream it because it was um, extreme. Not only was it extremely quiet for like no reason, because the the main menu was pretty loud. Like I wasn't sure. I'm not sure why like the audio is so quiet. But, uh, also, it, uh, it, it also had a bit of an issue where, um, I don't know what the hell I was trying to say, but just, just a minute ago, I don't know, uh, just for, just for some information, I'm, uh, a little tipsy, uh, I drank a bit because some friends and I were watching anime, and I, uh, kind of, I was just, I was just kind of sitting here and going, like, man, I really want to stream right now, so, uh, here I am, I'm starting the Far Cry 4 playthrough early, uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, Far Cry 4, I'm going to be doing a pistols only run, run, not a sidearms only run, a pistols only run, which means that I'm not going to be using the sawed off shotgun or the, uh, or the, or the grenade launcher. I'm just going to be using handguns. But yeah, um, I kind of did a whole thing trying to get through this whole cutscene. All right, all right, all right. What I was trying to say earlier is that one thing that made it awkward is that I couldn't skip the opening cutscene. Uh, because it, uh, I guess this game is just really, really proud of it. So as a result, it kind of, I was just kind of stuck here and I ended up forcing the game to quit so that I could like try to run it again with actual audio. This is, yeah, this is more audible than, uh, than the cutscene was before. I have no idea why it just kind of was, um, Yeah, but uh, this is the this is the royal army. They decide to shoot up the bus because, as it turns out, there was Golden Path uh, resistance members inside of the bus that Ajay here, who's our main protagonist, was using to uh, get into the country of Kirat. Because really, what he wants to do is uh, deposit his mother's wound, um, not wounds, uh, ashes at a place called uh, Lakshma, I think. You gotta keep in mind, this game takes place in, uh, not Nepal, which means, uh, I th I'm pretty sure it's not Nepal, Nepal, so basically it's a, uh, it's a southern Asian country that's a little bit north of India, I guess is what you assume. I think that's where the Himalayas are, and, uh... What you find out right when you hop off here is that the place is in control of a group called the Royal Army, who is under the control of this guy right here, who is who's named Pagan Min. Stop the bus. Stop the bus. Not shoot the bus. I'm very particular with my guns. Stop. Shoot. Stop. Shoot. Do those words sound the same? But it got out of control. I'm sorry. I didn't hear what you said. It got out of control. Got out of control. Got out of control. Yeah, if you guys uh if you guys have been paying attention to Far Cry recently, they had a they had a DLC for Far Cry 6. That was actually a really cool idea. They decided to let you control the different antagonists from Far Cry 3 through 5, and Pagan Mins was control, I think. I think Voss's was insanity and I don't give a shit what Joseph Seeds was. So Yeah. So yeah, in the opening cutscene, Pagan Min establishes that he, he's he got some sort of connection to you. 
Uh, he recognizes your eyes, which indicates that he kind of knows about you and your patronage, essentially. Waiting for you. But I don't think I know your name. Who is this? Huh? Is this your plus one? <laughs> the opening cutscene also establishes very early that Pagan Min is uh, crazy, which you guys could probably figure, but also that he uh, really likes control. He really, uh... He uh, doesn't really give a shit about his subordinates, and that he uh, is very casual about the cruelties that his uh, re regime requires. He also takes a he takes a fucking selfie with you. So there, bam! Now you know what Ajay looks like. Yeah, there's a uh, licensed song over this portion of the game, which I'm going to be talking over, and hopefully YouTube will not pick up. Um, but yeah, it's um, yeah, it, it's an interesting cutscene. It, it does really, uh, it does a, it kind of, I feel like it does a good job. Well, I think it does a job in establishing that uh, you, Far Cry 4 definitely picks up a few things for Far Cry 3 that the developers of Far Cry kind of pick up from here on out, which is just that, like, oh yeah, we really like villains here in Far Cry now. Like, they, they noticed how popular Voss was, and they're like, oh yeah, we can capitalize on this. So when they made Far Cry 4, they're like, okay, well this time we're going to make the antagonist like a big fucking deal, and we're going to make sure you know about him the whole time. Time. So they made Pagan Min, who I will admit is interesting. Like he's very flamboyant. He's well dressed. He. So fresh start. Why? Why is this so much louder than the opening cutscene? What is this? Whose name I still don't know, and I of course Pagan Min. I thought there was something wrong with the audio. It's just the opening cutscene. Are you serious? Your mother. She never spoke of me. Never mentioned. Change all that. All I need cash. Uh, how much do you need? All of it. Thank you. Here we go. Ah. Oh, there he is. All right. The man's face. Smile. That's you. That's me. That's him. Well, I'm not so sure anymore. But yeah, I think what they wanted was some sort of combination between Voss and Hoyt from Far Cry 3, where they wanted the sort of, like, uh, controlling drug lord sent- Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. He's tasting our mom. But yeah, uh, they wanted some sort of mix between uh, Hoyt's sort of drug lordiness um, and Voss's general insanity, like the sort of manic- the sort of manic uh, gets-in-your-head energy that Voss had, and they ended up with pagan men. Distance has built up. So, when your mother decided to flee to the United States with you on her hip, I couldn't help but blame myself. Then I realized it's not me. No, it was the fucking golden path. Those fucking terrorists, they ruin everything. Like dinner. Did no one ever teach you that it's rude to text at the table? Really, guys, we're not checking for these anymore. Ah, I'm with RJ Gale. You'll love this part. Help. <laughs> A text for help. You got. You gotta love those phones with like the fake text message apps. They always try to do like, because like it shows like they always do the same thing that all the actual phones do, where like you're coming from the right and then the other the other person texting you comes from the left, but they try to mess around with the colors or the format. Oh, poor Darpan. But yeah, another thing Far Cry has coming forward from like after three is that they'll they'll have the they'll have a cool villain and the villain will be really well written and interesting, but then they'll just put no effort into the protagonist. 
please. You might Stay notice that Ajay here isn't saying a single right. goddamn thing. Don't That's going to be a consistent thing throughout all of these cutscenes. He's not going to say anything. He'll occasionally show some, like, emotion or some... Like, here. Like, he shows that he cares about his mom's ashes. And then, like, he'll, he'll tuck her back into his jacket. But, like, what does he do from here on out? Anything? That's up to you. But, like, he doesn't say anything. He doesn't show any action that, like, gives any insight into, like, what his character is. He'll just sit there. And every scene, nearly every single cutscene, he'll just sit there or, like, do something really simple. He gets, he shows emotion a single time, and I really like that. But most of the time, he just gives, like, one-word answers or doesn't really show that he has an opinion on anything. So I just don't like Ajay. Especially since the way he acts at the end of the game is really not that different different how he acts at the, first, at the beginning of the game. He's just a dude. That's it. There's nothing special about them. Like, you might get mad at Jason for being, like, a fucking dickweed, uh, California, like, cruiser boy who just doesn't, who you just goes out, does nothing, like, does, like, extreme sports, and then just kind of doesn't give a shit. But then uh, at the end of the game he's gone through like a whole journey you get the sense that he's actually done something he's thrown away his girlfriend he's thrown away the chance of going back to the world he's familiar with he's become he's gone full like psycho machete murderer and then there's like there's like a thing there's something there you can look at that and go okay there's something to be in analyzing this game and i can take something with uh, take say, take something away from it after i'm done playing it ashe doesn't do that you have to infer Ajay's character from the actions that you take in the game, and everyone else is just kind of eh. It's just... I think Far Cry 4 is weaker than Far Cry 3, uh, in terms of, like, story and characters and all that. I don't think it's bad, but I do think it, uh, I do think it's lacking. I think, I do think the protagonist is a really, really integral part to any good story, and I don't think you can just kind of bleach them and, like, wash them out like they did with Ajay. And I don't think you, uh, especially what they did with Far Cry 5, because the deputy in Far Cry 5 just isn't a character. And you'll you'll see that when we get to that. I'm going to play 3, I'm, I'm playing 4 right now, um, and then I'm going to play 5 after that. And then we'll get the full, we'll get the full rundown, and I'll be able to get all my thoughts out. But yeah. Uh, currently we are waiting because there is a special ending that comes in this game, I think, if you just don't do anything. Um, I think that's what it takes. Um, we'll get there eventually. But, uh, I'm taking the opportunity to rant. Because, uh, as of right now, I am not sober. And that means I am very ranty at the moment. I kind of have different, uh, I kind of have different moods. When I, uh, I, I, I have different moods depending on, like, uh, how I feel, like, going into getting drunk. And, like, sometimes I'm really, like, goofy and, like, floaty. And, like, I'll, I'll, like, call random people and then just be like, oh my god, I'm so glad I'm friends with you. Oh, I'm proud of you. I believe in you. And then sometimes I'll just get really fixated on something and get really annoyed by it. I had one time where I I, uh, I got pretty drunk and then I I played League of Legends with some friends and this was when I was uh, this was when I just found out I really liked artillery mages and also this was when the developers were making a ton of mobility options for everybody and all the characters they were adding were like fast, dashy, high damage, high sustain like maniacs that could just completely take over a game if they were playing. If they were played by someone that knew what they were doing. And that was a bad idea. Because I got really just... I, I got really... I got really upset. Like, to the point where a friend I was playing with that's normally pretty cool with it... Uh, just kind of started complaining. Went, hey, you know, can you just play the game, man? And I think that was really... Um, I don't know. It was really telling. But yeah. I think what you're supposed to do is just stay here. I'm, uh, I'm not entirely certain. I don't know how long it takes. I think it takes, like, ten minutes. But, uh, if you sit here for long enough, I think Pagan Min should come back while you hear Darpon screaming for his poor life. I mean, I haven't touched the, the keyboard this whole time, so I think that's what you're supposed to do. But, yeah. This is something that they carried over from Far Cry 4 to Far Cry 5, where, uh, you not doing anything leads to an ending where, uh, the char you just kind of get taken out of the setting, and then the characters are like, oh, wow, good thing you didn't decide to, I don't know, go crazy and, uh, 
start fighting the the bad guys or something that'd be weird wouldn't it <laughs> and then they and the credits roll and then you're like well that's not really an ending i didn't get to play the fucking video game that i played for and then you go and play the game and then by the end of the game everyone's like why didn't you walk away what's wrong with you and then you're like i don't know man some bad shit's happening i kind of wanted to do something about it is that like a crime and then the game's like don't you feel bad you gamer you i don't know I don't know. <laughs> I guess it's a sort of like you, your mileage may vary thing. Like it's subjective. Because like I, I, I feel like uh, Far Cry 4 and Far Cry 5 and Hotline Miami 2 kind of all had uh, components to them that could have been evocative. But they just especially weren't evocative to me. And they got so close to being something that I wanted. That it was extra painful when they turned out to be something I didn't want. And... I feel like that's, like, the most insulting kind of, like, media you can put out to, like, the individual. Like, if you have something that's bad back to front, you can kind of, you can kind of, you can kind of deal with it, <laughs> you know? And, like, all, especially if it's bad in a way that's really entertaining. So, like, in the end, you kind of still get what you want from a piece of media. Like, it's interesting, it's entertaining, or it's funny, or, like, you get to, you, you still, you still have joy out of the time you spend with it. But something that, like, you really feel like it could have been something. You feel like it could have been interesting. You feel like it could have been something valuable or worthwhile. Like, that's the worst. Because I, like, I feel like failed potential is worse than no potential at all, you know? Like, if I was told, if I was told oh, you never stood a chance at doing this one thing, I'd feel a lot better then than if I was told, oh, hey... You could have done something here, but you kind of fucked it up. Like, wouldn't that make you feel worse? It'd make me feel worse. Absolutely. And I feel the same way when it's, like, in proxy, like, from third person, where it's like, oh, yeah, this could have been something. You could have really, really, really liked it, but then they just kind of fudged it. That's what Far Cry 5 felt like to me. Because I heard, oh, it's taking place in America. They're going to add a bunch of cowboy guns. They've got a double-barrel shotgun. Like, you're the deputy. You're here to deal with the cult, and it's going to get really interesting. We're going to talk about America. And then I was like, oh, yeah, that sounds rad as fuck. I'm so excited. This is going to be such a cool game. And then I played it, and then it fucking wasn't what I wanted. It wasn't, it was not at all what I wanted. And I was mad. I was so mad. I was super mad. Holy cow. And then I, I raged, I raged, and I raged for days with a friend. And then, like, just kind of kept complaining about it. And then eventually I calmed down, or I thought I calmed down. And then I started playing the Far Cry games again on stream. And then I realized I, I didn't actually calm down. I got so frustrated with it. Apparently, it's, it's, still, it's still hanging on even now. Just because, like... These games have so much going for them, and then I just feel like I just feel like there's something there that could have been something really special, that could have said something to a lot of people, and it's just it's just not there. It's so close, but it's just not there. And that's agony. It's pure agony. It's so frustrating. But yeah, we're here, kinda waiting things out. Uh Pagan Mint will show up at some point. This guy's still screaming. But yeah, this is like a sort of... It's like a... Hmm, it's like it's like a not... It's like a choice. It's it's a choice that's presented as if it like matters, but it really doesn't. Because it's like, oh, you... It's like, uh, like characters will act throughout the entire game as if it's like, oh yeah, you had a choice. You could have just walked away and then left everything alone. And that would have been okay, right? But instead you decided to stick around and start fighting people and start attacking people. And I feel like there's a really distinct difference between the way Far Cry 3 presented, like the, the fall into violence, and the way the other games present the fall into violence. Whereas like in Far Cry 3, it's like, oh, your brother died. A lot of shit's going down. You pro- you had like, Jason has multiple moments where he could have just calmed down and then left. Like, the fact that his friends built the boat and then, like, could have escaped from the island and then Jason says no? 
and then goes to the second island, and then goes and attacks a bunch of fucking mercenaries on the second island, and then perpetuates the whole fucking murder spree that he's on, is extremely important to Far Cry 3. It's extremely telling. It shows you, oh, this guy had a chance to bail out. He had a chance to leave. He had a chance to go and be a normal person, but he didn't. But in Far Cry 4, and especially Far Cry 5, those they, they still try to present that choice to you, but it's like a non-choice. It's a non-factor. Because in Far Cry 4, it's like, oh, you are sitting at a table, and a guy who just murdered a man with a pen is currently torturing someone in the same building. Do you want to kind of leave? I'd leave. I'd want to leave. I'd be like, well, if I stick around here, I think I'd be in big, I'd be in big fucking trouble if I piss this guy off, so why would I stick around? So you leave. And in Far Cry 5, it's even, like, there's even less of a reason to fucking back off because you're a goddamn deputy. You're a law enforcement officer, and, like, you know the cult is doing some bullshit. So, like, the pretext there already, like, inherently, like, kind of inures you against the idea of, like, choosing to go to not do your fucking job. You have a job. These people are doing something awful. And, like, you, the player, like, going into, like, the deputy's shoes, you don't know anything about any of the shit the cult's talking about. You don't know if the world's ending. You don't know what's going wrong. You don't know what's bad. You don't know, like, all, all, as far as you know, the cult's doing some weird shit. And they're probably killing and kidnapping people. And you're like, well, that's bad. Like any reasonable per reasonable person would be. And then you drop in and you're like, oh, well. I guess I should stop them. And then here in Far Cry 4, you're like running away because fucking Pagan Mint's a goddamn maniac, isn't he? Like he's going out and torturing a man. Why would you... Like, why would you stick around? Why would you stick around? Like, you get multiple reasons leading up to the to this point that we're at right now to not fucking stay. And, like, I think that's important. I think that says a lot about how that choice is interpreted in, like, future games. Because in Far Cry 3, there's very much a sense of, like, there was a clear turnaway point here. And you're and they're like, okay, well, you can, you just kept running around murdering people. And, like, the, the fact, the, the necessity of you murdering people was less and less and less as the game went on. But Far Cry 4, it's like, well, you need to deliver your mom's ashes here. Pagan men's in the way. And he's kind of doing a lot of bad shit. You'll find out later. But he's not a great guy. And then in Far Cry 5, it's like, oh, well, there's a fucking cult. They're all crazy. They think that they're, they're, they're going around and they're murdering and kidnapping people and drowning them in lakes and shit. They're dumping drugs into the fucking... They're, drug, they're dumping drugs into the water source. They are randomly stealing and drugging animals. They're, like, kidnapping people and brainwashing them. They're... In the case of John, carving words in the people's skin and then ripping it off as some sort of for, sort of like pseudo religious like thing that lets him satisfy his desire to feel like he's better than other people, and then you go, oh yeah, that's bad. I should probably stop that. And I just feel like going, oh you player, you fucking dumbass, you fucking maniac, you love killing these people, don't you? And I'm like, well, you gave me plenty of reason to think that I was doing a completely normal thing here by trying to stop these people. And then like that makes the that makes the choice to criticize based off of that just so much fucking worse. I don't know. And then Far Cry 6 barely fucking exists. I don't know. It's this whole thing. Is this going to happen? I've been talking non-stop for like 11 minutes, I'm pretty sure. And I haven't touched anything. Oh, there it goes. Wow, that's good timing. Oh, fan bloody -tastic. You, sir, are a gentleman. I sincerely apologize. We saw terrorists in the area and yada yada. The crab rangoon, right? Oh, yeah, it's fantastic. Thank you. Yeah, he doesn't sound like he's enjoying it. Mm. Mm. Come on, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Let's go do what I want. I came here for. Let's drop off my mom at Lakshma. Three point landing. Three point. 
part of me is surprised your mother asked for you to bring her all the way back here. That's because my mom's a fucking you asshole. You want me to follow? Didn't tell me shit. Boy, the ashes aren't going to scatter themselves. Did your mother ever tell you about your father? Never know. Mohan, the great protector of the Golden Path. <laughs> he was a cunt. Oh, I'm sure. He hauled your mother out, sent her to spy on me. But we fell in love. We had a child. And that is when Mohan showed his true colors. <laughs> he drove you and your mother away. He even killed your sister. <laughs> Which brings us... Oh, in. Lakshmana. That's what it means. That's what it was. Lakshmana shouldn't be alone anymore. I'm so glad we're finally back together. After you. Yep, Lakshmana Men. That's your, uh, that's Ajay's half sister that he never knew about. Then you place your mom. Ishwari, I love you and will always be with you, mom. Then I guess you leave? Good. You feel better now? Yeah, a bit. I Get came here. System? I got what I came here for. Take me back to America, please. Maybe now we can finally shoot some goddamn guns. Oh, uh, there's the music again. And then you run off with daddy pagan men, and then he fucking treats you to whatever the goddamn fuck. But yeah, that's the uh, that's the quote unquote good ending of the game. Uh, the rest are kind of something else. I'm gonna skip this because the music's clearly licensed. But like, yeah, no, that's it. So anyway, yeah, that's the good ending of Far Cry Four. Uh, you know what? I I think I'm going to leave the starting of like the actual game to to uh, to Sunday when I was actually originally planning on uh, doing it. But um, yeah, no, that's it. That was me. Uh, that was me ranting for ten minutes and then the uh, the the good. Again, figure quotes, the good ending of the game. Yeah. So, uh, in that ending, uh, Ajay, Ajay just kind of sits and stares at the fucking, at the fucking distance while, uh, Pagan Mint tortures a man for ten straight minutes, and then, uh, he gets to ride in a helicopter, go off, drop off his mom's ashes, and then, uh, I guess, like, shoot some guns and then go home. Uh, presumably, I think Pagan tries to... I, I, I'm guessing based... This isn't based off of anything I've, like, read or, like, in the game or anything like that. But I assume Pagan tries to, like, maybe convince him to be the heir to his empire. But, uh, you know, Ajay doesn't really have a personality or ambitions or some sort of implied goal beyond dropping off his mom's ashes. So whether or not he actually bothers to, like, go home... Or stay in Kirat, or do literally anything, um, is a mystery. A mystery to me. So, um, all things considered, I think we're just going to leave it like that. At that. So, uh, anyway, thank you for joining me. This was not a part of the Far Cry 4 playthrough. This was some dumb bullshit. And, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I will see you all again in a couple days. It, uh... On. No, I'm seeing you all tomorrow. Maybe we'll see. Um, my my weekend got really complicated because some shit involving my family uh, occurred. So we'll see where we go from there. But as it currently stands, uh, I think tomorrow night I'm going to be playing Hard West 2, which I'm actually not looking forward to. But uh, hopefully the uh, hopefully they actually did patch that game. They patched that game and made it a little bit easier, so we'll see how things go. But uh, as it currently stands, I've got a, a problem to deal with in that game, and then hopefully after that, we'll be back in the swing of things. But uh, for right now, I am going to bid you guys farewell, and uh, I hope you're all. I hope you all have a fabulous day, and uh, I will see you soon. Thank you.